You wait for Alistair at the local record store. A tapping foot sound can be heard as Alistair approaches the listener. He elaborates that he is sorry for being tardy and you both walk inside where he held the door open for you first, before he entered, like a true gentleman. You walk over to the section where his era of music is more in abundance and start asking him who some of his favorite singers and musicians were of that era. Oh, I was following Glenn Miller myself, and oh, how that Tommy Dorsey would sure know how to make me dance, but the one I enjoyed the most was Al Bowley. What a charmer he was. Ever heard of the song Midnight, the Stars, and You? What a beautiful song. What about you? Who was your favorite? Oh, they were one of mine, too. He would walk alongside the Wendigo as he reminisced about his wonderful life in the 30s. Albeit a dark one, he seemed to look back at them as his eyes shone rejoice. Instead of remorse. Weird. What would be the reason for you taking me here? He says as he stares at a collection of records, his eyes showing happiness and comfort. That was your reason? No one has ever done this for me. It's almost as if I can feel the weight of a million sins collapse from my eternal body. And out to the hellish ground, I, I feel light. As light as I ever felt since I... Fell down here. Thank you. Alistair leans in and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Then forehead. And Thank you so much for what you've done. How shall I repay you? Perhaps there's something I can make a deal with you for. No strings attached. Now, what may I offer you in return for this surprise journey down memory lane? Anything you want, it's yours. No strange attached with this deal. You've done your part in nursing me back to health. It's the least a sinner can do for another. You asked me to the deal maker what your desired request is. If it was me, I'd offer to suck his dick. But this is obviously a you and him thing, so I'll stay out of it. You want me to what? The super oblivious dear guy is weirded out by your request. Because he doesn't know what the fuck you mean. Alright, fine, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it right, okay. He looks at you baffled and astounded. That better? Jeez, your listeners are very fucking rowdy, you know that? Picky ass bastards. Let you do that for me? But, why would you? You've done so much already, I, I couldn't possibly let you. I refuse. Damn, he turned you down like Maggie turned down men. <laughs> it's okay, trust me. He won't go along with this. He's too much of a stuck up dick. Well, that's generous. And you want that win? Well, shit. I don't fucking know. Don't look at me. I'm just a narrator. I see. Well, I had no choice, and you're most likely going to bother me with it until I say yes, correct? Fine. It's a deal, then. Splendid! Also, again, thank you for this. I really needed it. I'm feeling better than ever. Thank you. For everything. And that's the ending you'll take care of Alistair. You had me up to the part where he you kissed your forehead and cheek. Cause I expected some saucy goodness. And all I got was a fan fiction. Hope you fuckers enjoyed. I'm outta here. Fuck you guys.